If Eric Ten Hag did not know the severity of the situation before the trip to Brentford, then he does now. Manchester United threw the towel in during the first half on Saturday's afternoon as Thomas Frank's side scored four goals in just 25 minutes. It was a remarkably minus display from a team who should currently be trying to impress their new manager in his first Premier League away game in charge of the club, and it highlighted the desperate need for Ten Hag to read the right act to his defensive unit, if you can even call them one. It's true United looked blanked up front, despite Bruno Fernandes, Christian Eriksen, Julian Sancho, Marcus Rashford and Cristiano Ronaldo all starting, but that was not the main takeaway from Saturday's dropping. If Ten Hag's men are going to concede four every week, then they won't be winning any games this season if they certainly aren't capable of scoring five. So the back line now has to be the priority as he moves forward with this mess of a squad. David De Gea has spent more than ten years at the club, but still has major errors in him and cost them two of the goals against Brentford. Lissandro Martinez, who joined the club for £55 million this summer, could not have put in a pair of worse performances to kick off his time in England. The Argentine looks like a child and was manhandled by Ivan Tony, an ominous sight that will leave United doubtful about his chances of improving their fragile centre. Uh, Luke Shaw's days could well be numbered as a first team regular as he was beaten all ends up by Brian and Bumo for the fourth and final goal. Uh, Tyrone Manassia looks a bit better when he replaced Shaw for the second half but there is now a lot of pressure on him to perform. Diego Dalek was also on the power while Harry Maguire's lack of leadership on the pitch is another major concern and in front of the back four it does not get much better. Fred has got Tom and I have long been criticised by supporters, but the inability to get a deal for Frankie Dijon only the line means they may well be stuck with a muck for a pairing for the foreseeable. And to cut things off, uh, the forward players do not press or pose any sort of uh, defensive shield uh, for those behind them. But Ten Hag must begin with a back line if he is to rectify this abomination of a start. There will most certainly be changes of personnel uh, when Liverpool travel to Old Trafford um, this weekend. But is that the answer? The manager uh, now needs to accept the squad he's got and try to improve them defensively on the training pitch. Otherwise, this could get even worse. And yeah, I don't know how it could get worse, but it can get yeah, even worse. And yeah, that just look, a look into the squad uh, and the position that Manchester United find themselves in the absolute mess they're in at the moment. Where can United go back from here? I mean, like, the transfer target just seems to be an absolute shambles. No one wants to go there. Ronaldo could well be on his way out. Still uh, clearly their most creative threat. Um, from the outside looking in, it just looks like an absolute shambles at United. And Ten Hag, you've got to feel sorry for him. Um, because, yeah, he's just walked into an absolute shit show, to be honest. Anyway guys, that's the video. Thanks very much for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and thoughts, comments down below. Find us in this video for daily football news and subscribe to my channel and subscribe and that'd be greatly appreciated. Thanks very much for watching. Peace out.